Okay, I was asked to demonstrate how to call the skill tree from, say, a pause menu. I originally set this up as its own scene, but it doesn't have to be. Basically, uh, the entire skill tree and all of its objects can actually be turned into a single prefab, and that prefab gets instantiated from a uh, pause menu. So, to make this work, we're going to have to do a couple things. So first, we're going to make everything apparent of the background, with the exception of the main camera and the GM object. The reason why we're not including the GM object is this was just to test to make sure the skills were actually usable. That once you've activated the skill, the GM object was meant to test to see if the skills actually worked. So we don't act that's not actually part of the skill tree. So we're going to highlight everything else, drag and drop it onto the background. So now, as you see, click on the background, everything moves. So that makes it easier to um, instantiate and to manipulate. We can turn it into one object. Now, when I originally made this, I didn't make a way of closing the uh, skill tree. So let's add that. So the white background itself doesn't have a collider box. So let's go ahead and do that now. So physics 2D, box collider. We're going to shrink this down to the bottom here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put a text object that's going to line up with this box. That's going to say close. So let's go ahead and do that now. So game object, create empty, make it part of this. We'll call it close text move it down and it's going to have a text mesh character size 0.15 if you don't shrink it's going to be blurry font size whatever works Ariel, we'll call the actual text, we'll just have it say close. Okay. Now, I lined up the collider box for uh, where it says close because this collider box is going to be used to actually destroy this object. So add component new script and we'll call it destroy menu and let's see so the box collider needs to be a trigger we'll go into destroy menu and it's just in its own subroutine, so outside of uh, void start and void update, I'm going to do void on mouse down just put in destroy So what this command does is it destroys whatever game object this script is attached to. So let's just save this change and we'll test it. There we go. Okay, so now that we've made that change, just drag and drop the whole thing just by grabbing the parent drag it into your asset area, it is now a prefab. So now we're going to go into our pause menu. There really isn't anything here, it's just an open blank scene since the request was to do it from a pause menu. So now we're just going to quickly make a single
single object, skill menu text, and going to do a similar setup. We're going to do a box collider, and we're going to do a text mesh. So is trigger, else the click won't work. And the text is um, again, it'll be skill menu. And now you can see why I usually change the other uh, attributes before I type because it, it prints up uh, gobbledygook. So character size 0.15, font size 24, font. Ariel, and now suddenly it's readable. So that's usually why I change the other ones first. Also, uh, this is why I usually do the uh, um, box collider after, because it just uses this default size rather than aligning it with the menu. So now I just have to go back and tweak it. But still, it's good to see what happens when you do things in different order. And there we go. All right, so we took an object. We added a box collider 2D, set it to be a trigger, added a text mesh, changed those settings, and have it say skill menu. So currently this does nothing. Got add a component, new script, and we'll just call this click control. Okay. We'll open up click control. should I believe only need one variable and it is public transform so it's gonna be an object and it will be skill tree object so we'll save that so the script is attached to the skill tree menu the skill menu text object as you can see it's now looking for the object you just drag and drop the prefab on top of that. And now we have the ability to manipulate that prefab. Outside of start, outside of update. So void on mouse down. Let's make it on mouse up. And what happens is we instantiate. What are we instantiating? We're instantiating this object. So skill tree object. And it is going to be um, skill tree object dot position so in other words use the position of the skill tree object and skill tree objects dot rotation so it's its position and its rotation and its position is really easy to verify you just click on the object and there's its position so I believe that should do it so let's run this. So you're in your skill menu, uh, excuse me, you're in your pause menu. You click on skill menu. It appears. As you can see it's working. Not enough points there yet for that to work. So the functionality is there. And then close. And now you're back into your skill menu. So that's how you integrate the skill tree into another menu rather than having it be a standalone uh, scene. So if there's any other requests or questions, feel free to just post and uh, I'll do my best to get the uh, answer up as quick as possible.